Ultimately, this is the next generation of electric motors. We can make them half the size than the best motors out there in the world, and we can make them a third of the size from most of the motors that people use in your house today. Um, they're significantly smaller and lighter than anything out there, which ultimately means they're lower cost because there's less material that goes into making them. We're still uh, developing prototypes, developing designs, uh, working with customers on requirements. Uh, we're still working towards uh, the production stage. So Shipley Center's helped us with uh, contacts, uh, they've helped us with space, and they've uh, helped uh, introduce us into the right place to, for some of the funding, and even some contacts into potential sales channels. So it's, uh, it's been uh, contacts that have helped us grow and uh, will continue to help us grow. It's really been a whole networking piece. We've got a number of uh, people that are working here um, that, uh, on the engineering side specifically um, that has uh, worked out great with the relationship with Clarkson University and uh, we expect to have uh, further opportunities. We have a co-op student, we have somebody that's working here that is a master's student and we have people that have graduated um, from Clarkson and are working here as their first job. So we have a number of different relationships that's worked out well and uh, we are doing things here to, uh, in a small company that allows people to do many different things more than you would get in a big company and we're changing the next generation of technology so it's, it's kind of a cool place to be. The Shipley Center is a great place that uh, helps um, nurture um, small companies. Um, many people uh, use the Shipley Center for um, uh, more of a mentoring relationship if they haven't uh, been around the block as many times as I have, um, but, uh, but uh, th there's certainly lots of opportunities within it. But the big, big advantage for me has been the networking.